these are all capacitors. Um, this is called a polarized capacitor. You see this big white line? <clears throat> that means that this lead should attach to the negative. And this one should be positive. This is a disc cap because it's just a little round disc and there, it doesn't matter which side is negative or positive. What a capacitor does, if you put voltage on it, um, essentially it lets current go through for a short amount of time then it stops. And then if you were to reverse current it goes through for a short amount of time and it stops. And um, they're extremely useful for timing circuits say if you want to blink an LED well you use a different size of capacitor to make it blink for a real short amount of time or make the blinks longer um, let me get out my meter let's try going up to R1 R100 here we'll see if it jumps see it jump and then it stopped because enough current went through that it doesn't it's it won't let any more through so then it jumps this way move over see it jump turn the leads around it jumps now it's really hard to test them if your capacitor is in a circuit you might it might not read just like that um, and here again, this an analog meter is a lot nicer for testing a capacitor than a digital meter. Um, with these little bitty disc caps, I'm not sure, they might be so tiny, the uh, microfarad reading is so, probably down to nanofarads, I'm not sure. You can't really test these without, um, some digital meters actually have a, a setting where you can test capacitance.